Welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Thaisko Learnings and in the last session we have talked about resources, how do you fetch resources here, right? So we have, we were returning the list of aliens, right? So we created these two aliens here and the moment someone sends you a request for aliens, you will return a list of aliens where you will return these two aliens, right? And then we have also discussed, I mean, we have talked about this. If normally when you return data, of course, the data will be coming from database, right? What we are doing here is we are returning data by ourselves by creating the static resource. And that's not a good practice now. So what we should be doing here is we should be creating a separate class, which will be dealing with database. And of course, we will, we have to fetch data from database, but and in fact, we can mock it up, right? We can create a separate class which will return data to us. Again, we can imagine that that class is connecting with database. I mean, we don't, we don't care about that. We are not concerned about which database you are working with. What we are concerned is this data should be coming from database. And to mock it up, what I will do is I will create a separate class now and I will name that class as, okay, let's just create a class. And we can call this class as something alien. So we'll say alien alien what uh normally if you are coming from web development we normally refer our class name as dao right so a class which deals with database is called as dao but then in rest api instead of calling it as dao we can use a good name called as repository again you can imagine uh, you can you, you you can still use dao that's fine you can use any class name doesn't matter but then repository sounds good because you might be fetching data from database maybe from from some files maybe from network you are fetching data from a repository, right? Again, uh, having said that, you can use any class name, doesn't matter. Now, so we are, the class name which I'm using here is alien repository, and this alien repository will work with uh, certain methods. Now, again, there's one more reason why I have taken this name as alien repository. You will, you will understand this once we start with Spring REST. So after, after this jersey, we'll be talking about Spring REST, where we will implement the same thing that this alien repository will make more sense, right? So time in, let's say we have a class name as alien repository. You can take any class name with, uh, the way you want. Okay, so we have this class, right? And this class will work with a database. Now when we talk about resource, as a user, you can fetch all the resource. You can fetch all the aliens in the database. Uh, you can uh, save a new alien. Maybe you want to add a new alien object. Uh, maybe you want to fetch one particular alien. Maybe you want to update one particular alien. So you will do all those operations with this alien repository, right? So this alien repository no, need to have all the methods, right? So what I will do is I will, first of all, let me create a array, okay? I, or maybe a list. And I will, I will use that list will be accessed by all the objects. Okay, now how do I do that? So what I will do is I will simply create a list of objects here. So I will say list of aliens and I will name this alien as, um, okay, let me just name this as aliens equal to, uh, okay, what next? Now, now we have to say new add a list. We have to create the object as well, right? In fact, we can create this object somewhere else. So let's, let's say we are declaring the object object here. Now, once you have declared it, we need a constructor where you will create the object of it. So I will say public alien repository where you will create an object of that. So we'll say alien repository. And now here we, are, we, will, we will create an object of aliens, right? And that's how you do it. That's the one of the advantage of using constructors. We can initialize our variables. And then, so we have initialized our reference variable now, which is aliens in this case. Now I want to have some static data, okay? Of, of course, you can imagine this data is coming from database, but then uh, we, we don't really, I mean, we are not cre really creating a database here, right? So let's mock it up. So what I will do is the thing which you are doing here, this aliens, uh, we will cut this part and let's put it here in the alien repository, right? So we already have two aliens here and let's add these two aliens in our, in our list. So I will say aliens.add and let's add a1 and let's say aliens dot add will say a2. Now what will happen is if you want to fetch this aliens, of course you will be getting these two aliens. Or maybe you want to add uh, some more aliens, you can do that, right? It is available for you. Okay, that sounds good. Now once you got this constructor where you're adding these values, now we need a method which will return all the aliens. So what I will do is I will say public 
uh, which will return you the list of aliens. See, in this video, we'll, we are going to only talk about this repository. How do I create all the methods? So I will say aliens dot get aliens, which will return you the number of a list of aliens. And now we can uh, we can simply return whatever alien object you have. So we'll say aliens return alien, right? So whenever someone asks you for get aliens, you will return this aliens here, right? Uh, it's that simple. Uh, then you need a method which will okay so you need a method now which will return only okay maybe you want to fetch return only one object maybe it, it is possible right if someone says hey i don't want all the aliens i want an alien object with id 102 that's possible again we'll be seeing that how do you send a request from the client okay let, let me uh, i mean just to let you know okay first of all let me just remove this thing here okay so first of all when you talk about this list here when you talk about uh, request so request will be for any type right a request will be for only aliens which will return all the aliens maybe in future we'll be working on how to return one object by id so let's say if i specify id 102 you will return that particular object maybe you want to de delete uh, alien so you will do all those things with the help of this repository again how to implement that in this resource that we'll see later but time in let's focus on this repository so maybe you want to fetch one particular object so in that case what you will do is you will say public again this will make more sense you know, after some time when you talk about uh, how do you how do you use that resource so we'll say public alien and we'll say this is get alien if you want only one alien and the thing is if you want only one alien how do you specify which alien you want so of course in this method you have to specify a primary key which is id in this case i hope it's yeah it's id now based on the alien id you will fetch that polar object right uh how do we do that here how do we implement that concept here so what i will do is i will say i want an object of alien so we'll say alien a1 equal to uh but how do i return that particular alien from the list um okay that's a that's a dif difficult thing now let's say by default we'll say it is null or maybe uh yeah let's let's say null and let's return that a1 but then how do you fetch that particular object from a list? So what you have to do is you have to say, uh, we have to run a for loop. We'll say uh, alien a colon, and we will refer this, uh, this, is, this is to the alien list, which is aliens. And you will run to the loop and you will check if, if the alien a dot get id matches with uh, is equal to id in that case return a right so now what will happen is it doesn't matter what we are returning here in fact we don't even need this thing uh, but yeah we have to return something right we'll say new alien we don't want to return a null value because that will generate a null pointer exception if you are not able to find an alien it will return a, a, a blank data for alien but at least you're not returning null so what we are returning is yeah so we have uh, in fact, you know what, uh, returning null will be a good thing because in future we'll be, we'll be looking at that as well. So if you send a particular ID, we will return that ID and we'll, we'll check if the ID matches with the ID which you which is in the list, you'll return that particular object, otherwise it will return null, right? This for one ID, uh, this uh, one alien. Maybe you want to have some more, maybe you want to have uh, methods like uh, delete, update. So you can you can write this all those things here. So again, we'll be I will I will be completing this, uh, and then we will see how to work with resource. But then how do you how do you work with at least this resource? So what I will do here is I will say let me create an object of alien resource here. So I will say uh, alien repository, not the resource, alien repository, and we'll say this is repo which works with the database, and we'll say new alien repository. Okay, that's how we create the object, and then. From here, instead of saying return aliens, we'll say repo dot get aliens, right? So now you're fetching data from database. Now it feels that you're fetching from data from database, right? So this, if you look at this alien resource, now we don't know from where you will get the data, but we are getting data, that's important, right? Now to make it work, what I will do is I will write my application. I hope there's no other server running on this, this machine. Let's run as run on, run on server. Now, sometimes it does happen that I might be having some other server working. And uh, let's let's see. Let's say click on finish, and I cannot see any error there. Okay, everything seems seems good. So let's say let's send a request for web web API, and let's say aliens, and you got your data. Now, trust me, this data is coming from the repository because there is no other way you can return return this, right? So yeah, this data is coming from the repository, which is here. 
So we'll again, we'll, uh, we'll see uh, how do you do other stuff as well, the, uh, producing the resource, because in the next video, we'll talk about how do you produce some more resources and then how to update, delete all the stuff on the way. So if you're enjoying this sessions, do click on the like button and uh, do subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much for watching.